Hello guys and welcome back. It's Total Eclipse here with another guide on efficiency and satisfactory. Now today we're back at our initial um, test build and that was working with a single impure um, Mark II miner creating it 100% uh, efficient. We've actually got two power shards in there. Um, making it 100% efficient with four smelters connected to six constructors. Now for this episode we are actually going to be building some assemblers. Um, I don't know if it's going to be one or two with this, um, but we're going to make them 100% efficient uh, with the current build. Here we are. Yes, so we've got four iron plates to 24 screws, just to make me confused. Um, everything that uh, is to do with efficiency, it's also about maths. So if you don't like it, unfortunately, um, you either have to um, suffer the consequences of inefficiency, face your horrors of maths, or just watch my guide and copy it. Now with the maths, we know that for every one constructor of iron plates and one constructor of screws will be able to produce 3.75 uh, reinforced plates per minute. And to create reinforced iron plates, they can create a maximum of five per, per minute. Now, we've worked this out quite well because 3.75 times by two is 7.5. And then if you double that again, that's 15. And so with eight, constructors will be able to produce a maximum of 15 plate reinforced iron plates per minute with three assembly um, uh, assemblers. Right, so here we are. This is what we've come up with. Now I haven't actually tested this out yet um, and I am slightly worried and that's due to the conveyor belts. Now I've worked it out that each of these as an impure node at 150% overclocked by 50% should be producing 90 or per minute. So that's 180 between them. So the conveyor belts should be able to handle that fine. So in this part, the issue is that the four iron plates constructors need to be merged together before splitting into the assemblers and the same with the four screws merged together before being split into the assemblers. Again, um, the issue I'm worried about, and I'm not sure if it's going to work, is because each of these creates, uh, each of the screws create, uh, constructors create six screws every four seconds. And that's six, 12, 18, 24 in total for four seconds. And over 40 seconds, that's 240. Um, and with these being able to, cons uh, to handle 270 at the most, I'm slightly worried that there may be a bottleneck in this area here. Um, we can see already that we are having issues here. The, the, we cannot handle this amount of screws. So we're going to have to work out a way to split the four between the three. Right, so I think we've sorted it. It was a bit of a kerfuffle um, because uh, it's just an awkward number and obviously if you have more machines it would actually be easier. But what I've had to do was merge the each of the screws together, then get them transported over to a splitter again, then to split them so that two of the splitters, um, two, two of one side, uh, merge together to go to one assembler and the other one goes up to merge with the same the other side. So you've got two split off to one, two meet up in the middle to split off to one, uh, to go off to one, and then you have two split off on the other side that merge into one. So we can see at this point that everything is running smoothly. We just had our first lot of uh, screws moved up and there doesn't seem to be any um, bottleneck at the moment, which was our issue a few moments ago. But now we need to see if uh, everything is working efficiently. 
so with the first assembler we are running at zero hundred percent efficiency um, but it keeps dropping that why is that not producing we'll have to check this back in a second but it did say it was a hundred percent effective at that moment in time same with this one at zero percent again um, but we can see that we are producing a lot more screws than we should be. So, this is the second, no, this is the third attempt at making this 100% effective. And we still have the tiniest bottleneck here, which is causing some problems for us. I was hoping that by um, splitting these into one and then splitting these into another, and and then forwarding it onto here that we wouldn't have that issue but thinking about it it was bound to cause the same problem somewhere so after all this time it finally looks like it's come together now if we look below you can see that I've redone this so that it may not be neat which is one thing that annoys me but now everything is being sent um, so you have the, the two lots of screws here that get split off and so we have two lanes merged into one and going off to one assembler and this is the same on the other side so you have two lanes merging to one and then the two free lanes one on each side are merged in the middle and sent to the middle assembler and that means that everything is uh, sent together at the same time um, it's all pretty much exactly um, synchronized whereas before we were having a, a few issues same with the plates, all the plates are being um, merged onto one and then um, split at the last moment but that's because there are only a few uh, plates going in at once uh, and it's not that difficult to sort out. I'm hoping that we're at 100% or at least near enough. Yep, so we're at 92% and it's going up. I think it maxes out at about 97%, that's the... Oh no, we've got 99% here. And this one is 99%. So there we go. Finally, after all those renditions, we have actually made it to um, pretty much 100% efficiency from the miners, which, let's just recap, we have two Mark II miners on impure mode, uh, impure nodes, running each one overclocked shard uh, which are fed into six smelters um, two of these smelters are sorry four of these smelters are for plates so these going around um, so they go straight to one constructor which creates the plates then merged and split and then we also have uh, two smelters which are each connected to two constructors creating rods and then directly connected to a further two constructors on each one creating these screws which are then sorted in one of these uh, storage units so that they're all together and then they're split. Um, this, I don't know if it's absolutely necessary unless you actually end up stocking a fair amount beforehand um, but it's perfect as it is and I don't really want to mess with it for the time being. But these go uh, get split off like I just mentioned uh, by a splitter uh, to three different lanes. Um, each two different lanes, sorry. So we have this one being merged together for one assembly and this one gets merged with the mirrored side over there to another assembly and we've got 100% efficiency. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, if you did find it helpful, please do drop a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe. Again, thank you very much for all the support, and I look to see you in-game in Satisfactory. Ciao for now.